pond, you can see that the, the tray is now flooding. And we're going to test our pH and adjust the pH if need be. We're going to wait for this water level to get up right about here. And once it starts going back down, we'll know we have a, a good mix of our fertilizer. And remember, these fittings adjust. If you want to increase the flood level, you can simply either take them off. So in this case, if we take our flood drain fitting off, it's going to decrease the flood level. So these fittings simply unscrew, and you can see you have micro adjustments there as far as your pH. So what we're doing right now is simply just getting the water to mix up. I'm going to put this back on so it goes and floods all the way to the top. And then we're going to... So now we can see that our water is draining back down, our 3 4 inch fitting, back down into our reservoir. So we know that our water is well mixed. Let's go ahead and test the pH. testing our pH, we go ahead and fill our pH test kit vial halfway full. Then we're going to put three drops of our indicator solution into the vial and it's going to change the color. Go ahead and shake it, take your indicator solution and compare it. And in this case we're right at six so we will not need to change our pH. If we have to increase our pH value or decrease our pH value, we use our pH adjusting solutions. The thing you want to be a little bit cautious of is some of these solutions tend to be very caustic or acidic in nature and they can tend to burn. If you get some on your hands, you want to be certain to flush with water or follow the medical instructions on the side of the bottle. If our pH is low, we're going to want to add some pH up. And you simply do this by taking a couple of drops, putting it in the reservoir, probably not more than three or four drops, let the water circulate around, and then retest your pH. And the same if your pH needs to come down. And in this case, we're going to retest our pH and we can see that the pH has come up a very little bit but is more in the range of 6.5 and remember on a general rule of thumb you want to be between 5.8 and 7 once again it depends on what you're growing so know your plants pH value and where it should be at if you're wondering what the organic grow room or the hydroponic grow room looks like this is it this is what you see the hydroponic grow room will come complete with a hydroponic system, grow light, a filtration system which will include either a hand fan or an odor sock with the fan included, a thermometer, hydrometer, pH indication solution, timers, and everything you'll need to begin growing. If you need fertilizer or media, those are sold separately. This is your hydroponic grow room.